Hi guys, welcome to another video. I have gone and done it. I have bought the worst bag ever. I have made such a mistake. I have made an impulse buy and I tell you guys not to do this and I've gone and done it and now I'm regretting it. What am I talking about? <sighs> Let's get going. So I always give you guys the best advice I can give from my own experiences and this is one to savour I am not kidding you I was so rash with my decision I am not usually so impulsive without having a bit of an educated mind behind it and on this one no I thought it was a bargain I thought it was going to be an amazing amazing bag and it's just yeah it's turned into a disaster anyway Let's unbox this bag and then I can tell you all about it. Let me present to you my first ever St Laurent bag. What is in this box? Well, let's just get into it. Obviously, I have opened it before and obviously I have used it to know what a disaster it is. So anyway, here is the dust bag. If any of you guys have seen any of my previous wish list items, this has been on the wish list for so many years. Anyway, get on with it and open it up. I hear you all screaming. So here we have the beautiful <laughs> college bag by Saint Laurent, YSL. And on the face of it, you may say, but you love that bag. And you wanted that bag, but there was something stopping you. Yes, yes, there was. And now I know what it is. Anyway, this is the college bag in the medium size, which is actually quite a small, a small bag. And it is a satchel style. It has a top handle. It's in the grey colour, I think it is it called? Storm? I have no idea, actually. I don't know why I'm guessing at that. And inside, uh, it has the chain detail, which is, again, in the ruthenium. And inside it's got like a compartmentalised area. So why is this bag <laughs> the worst bag in the world? So anyway, this is the chain that comes with it. And yeah, on the face of it, it is a very nice bag. It is a very nice bag. So let me explain. I don't think in any way that this bag is fake. I have no worries about the authenticity. So that isn't the disaster. The disaster for me is, it is the most annoying bag I have ever used in my life <laughs> for one reason and one reason only. There's other things I don't like about this bag as well, but they are not the reason that I am regretting it. The reason I'm regretting it is because the closure of this is the most annoying thing I've ever seen. It literally is so, the magnet is so tough on it. And then to put it, you see now, Honestly, when you are wearing this bag, it is so hard to get in and out of. I don't know if it's this particular one. I never really looked at it that closely in store. So that is one thing. Lesson to learn, ladies and gentlemen. Try the bag properly when you're in store. Open it up, close it up, <laughs> see how you get your things in and out of it and all the rest of it. Because I didn't realise how annoying this was until I got my hands on it. <laughs> I do quite a lot of weightlifting. And even me, I'm... Ugh, and eventually you can get it open. It's harder when it's on as crossbody as well. And then to close it, you, I don't know if you can see, it's got like a lip here and it's obviously a magnetic closing. And to get it on properly, you have to like move it around and find where it is and find where the lip is. And then you can hear the click. Finally, finally you get it closed. So I took this out for its first little run <laughs> to a friend's barbecue and I spent half the night trying to get in and out of the blinking thing. Honestly, it drove me insane. It's so much harder when you've got it like this and it, particularly if it's got something, if it's got something in it, this has got some padding in. So let's get rid of this. But I just had a couple of things in it because, yeah, I didn't need that much. And I could not. I'm trying to show you this. So this is how it was sort of hanging crossbody. And then to get this, you have to fiddle with it. And if it doesn't click properly, it literally is, is the lightest magnet. 
and it just opens and it stays open and obviously the, the chain is on here it's now found its way to the right place but to close it you're literally pushing against nothing and I think that is a, an annoyance of a lot of satchel bags but this uh, you have to find the exact spot because of this lip and you are literally even in my hands trying to do it right I've done it now <laughs> it's so annoying <laughs> it's really annoying so yeah I ended up putting my phone in the back pocket which was the thing I was reaching for the most and um, yeah I didn't open the bag anymore because it just drove me insane so yeah so what else don't I love about this bag well I just feel it's so the quality of it is just nothing like some of the other brands and I know I know why sale is priced at a point that is maybe a little bit lower than some Louis Vuitton bags and well definitely the leather pieces in Louis Vuitton it's it's a lot more affordable than say Celine obviously Chanel, Hermes, Dior all of those Fendi all of those brands this yeah this isn't in the bracket however this bag this bag right now is £2,000 it's £2,000 and for a bag that's £2,000 honestly it's it's okay as a bag it's one of those that if I manage to you see again I can't open the blinking thing and I can't close the blinking thing and I promise you when it's on your body it's even harder when you can't actually see what you're doing it's oh anyway but for that amount of money if you look at all across the other brands what you could have for two thousand pounds yeah I just would never would never spend that on this I just don't love it at all so yeah I in the bracket of up to 2000 there are lots and lots and lots of alternatives that are leather or that are even if they are canvas versions of bags in Louis Vuitton I would rather that any day than yeah I just oh I just don't love it and I'm just really annoyed with myself the one saving grace of this is that I didn't yeah I didn't spend a massive amount on this this is slightly worn I don't know if you can see just on the corners the lights will make it look worse actually but there is some wear on the corners and just on the end of here it is not perfect and that was okay because I thought actually for the price it is and it can be a bag that has already had those scuffs and scratches so I may be not quite as worried about it but for that sort of bag I would rather just use my mini Alexa from Mulberry I just think it's a better bag I just do and it is half the price less than half the price at retail than this and I know this has the brand the branding and all the rest of it me personally I would rather go for Mulberry or have a higher price point if I'm going for that higher price point and go to Louis Vuitton or Dior or Fendi or Hermes or whichever these middle brackets they're just not worth the money they're just not the one saving grace is that I didn't spend a lot on this I got this for in the end with shipping and all the rest of it I think it was about 740 pounds so yeah not too horrendous but I don't want to throw away 740 pounds and the fact that I jumped into it and wasted £740 to me I am so annoyed with myself because yes it's not £2,000 but it's still a significant sum of money and it was all my doing so I've learned some valuable lessons some valuable lessons what will happen to this I don't know on screen it looks it looks like a nice looking bag doesn't it the chevron and the uh, the ruthenium hardware it's a really nice crossbody length it really is and it actually looks quite nice it's just really really annoying <sighs> anyway tell me guys what you think can you believe I've made such a silly mistake should I just keep it suffer the loss and hope I use it so can I just ask you guys any of you guys that has the college bag is your closure the same as mine where it's so annoying that you can't find how to close it and to open it up you are literally especially as this is you know 
you having to two hands to actually open the uh, magnetic closure and then trying to find the the correct place for it with the lip is yours like that how do you cope with it have i just got a duff one <laughs> and that is why the price was so good that whoever had this before was just sick to death of it as well so maybe i've just got one that's yeah defective or yeah or is that a, an actual common thing with with some of the uh, college bags or maybe the YSL bags in general anyway do your due diligence people make sure that you do not rashly <laughs> buy something and especially if you can't return it because I just did a Facebook page bank transfer the whole shebang that's what I did so don't do that make sure that you've tried the bag on properly in store get your hands on it properly check the closure check what will fit in it and then yeah make a decision after that don't jump on things that are too good to be true because generally they are so there we have it the most annoying bag in the world what should I do with it let me know thank you so much for watching I'll see you on another one